Right, everyone, sit down. Here's your assignments back. Average, reasonable, abominable. Uh, oh, this one was excellent. If you're in primary school, right. Um, any questions about the uh, assignment? No? Excellent. Right, just to let you know, this term, uh, due to my burgeoning substance abuse problems, I'll be uh, passing over some of the teaching uh, to a PhD student called Sean. Um, she's got all my PowerPoint slides, so you'll be able to uh, go through the assignment very quickly. It's all on Blackboard as well, obviously, don't forget that. Um, yes, yeah, so this will all be tested at the end with another assignment, which hopefully some of you will be able to engage with in a slightly more proactive way. Goodness me. Right, Sean, do you want to just take over now? All right, cheers. Yeah, I think you need to talk about your feedback first, students. What, what feedback from your students? No, they're talking about that. Oh, right, okay. What did you get? Well, I get what I passed, so what else do I need to know? What? <laughs> what? Well, who cares? I passed. What? The verb is calling, for God's sake, Rob. I don't need to improve. I passed. It says here. Look, pass. 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 It's a pass. So, what of it? Why? What do you want to know? I don't know how they are hard and get better next time on. 96. Are you joking? Oh, really? Four. Who cares? Do you care? Well, I just said there's no point anymore. I might as well just give up. I have no idea where I went wrong. I don't understand. Yeah, but do you actually care about where well, you went? I'd like to have done better, but I just don't understand where I went wrong. He's not told me where I went wrong, so I don't care anymore. Mm. So, so what do you want to know then? How to improve. So how is he going to tell you that? <laughs> right. Hello, class. My name is Charlotte. I'm going to look at you for this semester. We're going to change things a little bit this time. Dr. Swan was all very well, but I think it's time for a new way forward. What I'll be doing with you this semester is, instead of at the end of the semester you have one big assignment, we're going to work towards that throughout the term uh, with little smaller pieces of work that you can build up. I'm going to give you some tasks to look at now. Have a look at this. One. And you have a look at this one. Start working on it together. Is there anything you're going to say on here? I think I did tell you Is there anything difficult that's causing your problem? What, can we come in and have a read and then get back to you on that? Is that all right? Sorry, if you can send me an email, you could post a question on Blackboard if you want to. There uh, are things which uh, need a bit further explanation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now I'd like you to go to Blackboard and post some work. Right, so you could post a summary of what you've done in your group. You could post a summary of what you've done in your group. And on that. Summary. Now, I'd like you to comment on each other's work. Give each other some feedback. And while you're giving each other feedback, perhaps you could use the grading criteria for this module. The way that I'm going to give you feedback. Do you know what, Rob? I'm really surprised because I wouldn't have thought about answering it in that way. You know, you just, you're a lot cleverer than you look. <laughs> I really liked the way you summed up your story throughout as well. I don't think I'm creative enough to have pulled that off. I really liked that. That was really good. You're so right. I'm I good, might aren't take I? That. I might take that <laughs> and use that in my next assignment. Oh, that's very much. It's quite good, this feedback thing, isn't it? You know? I've learned something. Yeah. We're good. Are you too I good? Think, I, I think this um, shows that we've improved quite. We've improved our first draft a lot. I've got a much better idea where I'm going now. At least I know where I was going wrong. I've got a better idea what I need to do in the next assignment, so that's good. And, um, we asked our tutor for some help as well, and um, they've really put some. You know, she'd even email me back within a few days. <laughs> <laughs> so now can we get to the point? <laughs> <laughs> right, here's your final second best. <laughs> your final piece of work there. Thank you. Before you look at it, I'd like you to think about some things to do with that feedback. So, first of all, look at the grade. Decide how you feel about that grade. Do you feel disappointed? Do you feel happy? Do you feel pleased? Satisfied? Think about those feelings. Now, put that feedback away for a and leave it for a bit of time before you go back and look at the feedback. Right, now you can go back and look at the feedback. You might have to leave a while. <laughs> and I want you to 
in two to set out 20 to 30 minutes to work with that feedback, think about what you're doing with feedback. Here are some guidelines. Read through to the end of your feedback and make some notes. Underline things where you, want, where you think it's positive, where you agree, where you disagree, and where you don't understand things. You could use coloured pens if you like to. <laughs> at the end, look at the grade. When you've done that, look at the grade again and see if you understand how that grade does was reached. Yeah. Now take a separate piece of paper and write down one or two action points that you're going to follow after this piece of feedback. What are you going to do in your next piece of work? What are you going to change in the way you do your next piece of work? And write down then if there are any puzzles or confusions that come that you've still got about that piece of work and your performance on it. And then the very last thing to do is to make an appointment to see me to talk about those questions. I'll make the first appointment. <laughs> <laughs> so then you can get to the point. Right, <laughs> I'm back from my spell in the Priory and I see I've got feedback all wrong. <laughs> I don't really understand what it's for. I should be checking for learning, not just marking things and throwing them back at what's his face and whosoever. I think, really, I should be doing it in a more informative way. It's not just all about the final mark. I feel like I've really let these students down and I really need to change my practice. But I'm retiring in three months, so <laughs> I'll probably just stick to what I know. Oh. We have these students.